Yo, what's going on, you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 best guns to be using in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 in Season 5 Reloaded. Now, without further ado, let's get right on into the class setups. Alright, so the first class setup we're going to be showing you guys is going to be the Cast Off 762. After the Cronin Squall got nerfed, we obviously need a new meta AR that's going to be a really heavy hitter. And we're going to want one that's going to compete with the Cronin Squall because that gun just absolutely beamed. But it got nerfed twice, so it's not really that much of a viable AR to use anymore. So the new meta AR is the Cast Off 762. 762. Here are going to be all the attachments for the cast of 762. We got the Saken Tread 40 muzzle for some vertical and horizontal recoil control. There's going to be the tuning on that. We got the Kaz 10 584 millimeter barrel. Now this isn't a must. You don't really have to use this. I'm just using this just for some more damage range. But if you guys are going to take this off, you guys are actually going to want to replace the barrel with this rear grip right here so that you guys can have some more recoil control. And you guys are going to want to tune it all the way for recoil control and aiming idle stability. Next attachment is going to be a mob v4 optic just so that you guys can see a little bit better and here's going to be the different thing that the cast off 762 has to offer in comparison to other assault rifles when you tune it you're not going to want to use far you're actually going to want to use close so that, that way you can see your enemies a lot more clearly and a lot closer than when you would put it on far and the good thing about the cast off 762 is that it doesn't have that much recoil to control anyways so you're really not going to struggle hitting any shots even with the eye position as close you're going to put the ads speed because flinch resistance really doesn't do that much for assault rifles and that barrel and the sake and tread muzzle are going to kind of slow down your ads speed so you want to gain that back you're going to use the 40 round mag so that way you guys don't run out of bullets while you guys are beaming enemies from like over 25 to 50 meters and all that good stuff and then the fifth and final attachment is going to be the ftac ripper for some recoil control and here's going to be the tuning for that attachment as well now obviously you guys are going to want a really really fast killing and good smg to go with your number one assault rifle so that brings us to our next gun which is going to be the iso 45 the ISO 45 has the fastest TTK in the game other than the MP5, which I'm going to be showing you guys and I'm going to get to it right after this weapon. But the barrel, you guys are going to want to be using the X-Raptor V2 barrel for some ADS speed, movement speed, and hip fire recoil control. And here's going to be the tuning for that attachment. Overall, this build is just a really, really good movement build and it's just absolutely shreds. You guys are going to be using the Slimline Pro Optic and here's going to be the tuning on that. Now, if you guys don't want to use the Slimline Pro Optic, another alternative you guys have is you guys can take off this optic and you guys could actually head on over here to muzzles and you guys could use the spiral v3.5 flash hider so this is going to conceal that muzzle flash so that way you're not absolutely blinded with the uh, iron sights and you guys are going to tune that and you guys are going to go recoil smoothness and all the way on gun kick control and i'm going to show you guys how that looks in comparison to the optic right after this next attachment is going to be the 0.45 hollow point rounds for some crippling power and if you guys actually tune this this gives the best recoil control for a lot of the smgs so you guys are going to go double recoil steadiness and recoil smoothness this is going to smoothen out your gun's recoil a lot let me tell you and you guys don't want to be using the 45 round drum so that way you guys don't run out of bullets while in the middle of fights with enemies trust me you guys are going to need it with how fast this gun runs through bullets and then the fifth and final attachment is going to be the demo fade tack stock which is going to give you some ads uh, walking speed so some strafing speed basically and some sprinting speed this is going to make you absolutely move with this smg and there's going to be the tuning for that really quickly i just want to show you guys the comparison of how the gun looks when you're shooting it with the optic and without the optic so here's build number one where you guys are going to be using an optic here's how it looks when you shoot it Go. I'm gonna do it one more time for you guys. Alright, and now let's go on to gun build number two. Here is how it looks when you guys use the spiral muzzle. I'm gonna do it one more time for you guys, right, really quickly. There you go. Now, obviously, there's a lot of smoke when you shoot the gun, as you guys can see. But when you guys are actually in the middle of a game and there's sunlight, you guys aren't going to be seeing that smoke. The only reason why you guys can see the smoke here is because we're in a dark environment. So the smoke's clearly going to be showing up. Now, I will say one pro about having the spiral flash hider instead of using the optic is you guys do get some more recoil control and gun kick control. So if you guys need some more stuff to help you hit those shots, I am going to recommend you guys use the spiral flash hider instead of the optic. But this isn't the only viable SMG out there so that brings me to my next weapon which is going to be the mp5 you guys are going to want to be using the l38 falcon 226 millimeter barrel this is just going to give you some ads speed and some movement speed this is by far the best barrel to use on the mp5 or the lock and sub there's going to be the tuning really quickly right for that you guys are going to want to be using the vlk lzar 7 milliwatt laser for some ads speed sprint to fire speed and all that good stuff aiming stability you guys are going to want to be using this tuning on the screen right there next attachment is the mirror recoil 56 factory stock for some more strafing speed 
recoil control, sprinting speed, and aiming idle stability. There's going to be the tuning for that. And then you guys want to be using 40 round mags so that way you guys do not run out of ammo while in the middle of gunfights. And then you guys want to be using, finally, of course, like on every SMG, the 9mm hollow point rounds for some more recoil control, damage range, and crippling power. And the best thing about the MP5 is that it has really, really good iron sights so you can see super, super clearly really good strafing speed and really easy recoil to control. People usually sweat on Vondel Park or a Sheikah Island or whatever mode. They usually use either the MP5 or the ISO 45. So you guys definitely want to choose one of these SMGs to use. I'm just going to show you guys how the recoil looks and how smooth it just looks to be using the Lockman sub. Because, dude, I've shredded so many people out of the sky using this SMG. And it's just like, it's insane. You guys are definitely want to give this a shot, especially if you guys love the MP5 in Modern Warfare 1 and Warzone 1. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of different assault rifle options that you guys have to choose from after, like I said, the Cronin Squall got nerfed. We kind of already know the SMG meta. It's between ISO 45 and MP5 or Lockman Sub. So the next two guns are actually going to be some that you guys are probably familiar with if you guys have been sticking around the channel for a little bit, which is going to be the Tempest Razorback. This gun is insane it has a super fast fire rate really low recoil control and has a really fast time to kill now does it beat the cast off 762 i don't think so which is why i made the cast off 762 but if you guys like the tempest razorback you guys can 100 percent go ahead and use this and here's going to be the attachments for the tempest razorback you guys want to be using the harbinger d20 barrel there's going to be the tuning on that f tac ripper 56 for some more recoil control and here's going to be the tuning on that 60 run mag so that way you guys do not run out of ammo while in the middle of torching a team which you guys are definitely going to need it because this gun shoots really really fast amop v4 optic now this one you need to have the eye position on far in comparison to the cast off 762 where you had to have it as close just because you're going to need as much recoil control as you can get and if the visual recoil is low your chances are you're probably going to be beaming with it and obviously ads speed on the left side and then the final attachment is going to be the 18 inch tackle 2l barrel and there's going to be the tuning on that and if you guys want to swap out any attachment you guys are going to want to swap out the harbinger d20 you guys are going to want to put on the Saken tread instead this is just going to give you some more recoil control but i like to use the harbinger because it gives some more damage range in comparison to just recoil control yeah, covered this video on the channel it actually did very very well it seems like a lot of people are interested in the uh, tempest razorback the video got over 2,000 views so i mean clearly people like the gun so go ahead and give it a shot maybe it'll surprise you maybe you guys will like it more than the cast off 762 like i said earlier in this video these guns are literally all about preference so whatever works for you guys might not work for another person and it's just you know you guys are gonna have to choose what you're most comfortable with and of course this is it the fifth and final gun probably the lowest recoil gun that you guys could find out of all of these class setups but the damage is a little bit less than what you would find on the cast off 762 or the tempest razorback but if you guys want to be absolutely frying people and hitting every single one of your shots you guys are going to want probably going to want to opt in for the m13b this gun doesn't hit super duper hard it's not a super strong hitting gun with high damage but it has absolutely no recoil which means that you're going to be hitting all of your shots which in exchange makes you melt people and it's one of the top ars after all the changes to the Cronin Squall. Here's going to be the attachments for that gun really quickly. We're going to go with the Saken Tread 40, which is going to give some vertical and horizontal recoil control. There's going to be the tuning on that. We got the F-Tac Ripper 56 for some more recoil control, and there's going to be the tuning on that. 60 round mag because this gun shoots really, really fast, and you guys are going to need all the bullets that you guys can get. Aim off V4 optic. We're going to be going for far eye position, unlike the Cast Out 762, and ADS speed. And then our fifth and final attachment is going to be the 14 inch Bruin Echelon barrel, which is going to give some more bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hit fire accuracy and there's the tuning for that and for all you guys that don't believe me that the m13 has absolutely no recoil and of course it's not the m13c the m13c sucks the m13b on the other hand is a really really good assault rifle and here is the recoil control with the m13b as you guys can see this freaking gun does not move it has no recoil super super easy to control like i could probably beat people like without even trying using this gun whereas i would kind of have to focus a little bit more using the cast off 762 and the tempest razorback this one i literally don't have to think i could just aim and shoot and i'll be completely fine i'll probably be like hitting headshots and stuff it really doesn't matter to me but yeah it might matter to you guys so if you guys want absolutely no recoil you guys just want to be able to run around and gun people m13b is probably going to be your favorite assault rifle out of the three but yeah you guys thank you guys so much for kicking on this video and watching if you guys did enjoy these top five best guns in modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 make sure you guys go down below and drop a sub with the post notification bell turn on so you guys never miss an upload because i got a lot of things coming in modern warfare 3 thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing on the past few videos it really does mean a lot to me and i will see you guys all in the next one later